morning, we're learning the punishment for a group of college students accused of stealing a rival school's bell. Matt McCutcheon is here with what will happen to the four men and what they told police. Good morning, Matt. Good morning. This is a story we've been following for a couple of weeks now since it's happened back in October. And this morning, we are learning what's next for those four men. Video shows the four men at work right here. You can see walking inside DuPaul University in Greencastle and making off with that bell, wearing those white suits and those masks before they put it on top of a dolly they brought with them and then they just roll it away and out of the building. Here's where their plan is foiled. That bell, it actually sits on a pressure alarm, which immediately sounds and alerts police that it is moved. Now we're learning that the four students will not be facing any jail time. Instead, they must perform community service, and that includes picking up trash after the football game this weekend where Wabash and DePaul will be battling it out. One of the four men is also a Wabash football player, and he will be suspended by a game. Now, when stopped by police, the four Wabash students said that uh, this is tradition and they right. police instead said it's theft so wrong yeah. team. Well, how long has this tradition been going on? Man? Yeah you know the football game bell battle it's really yeah. been going on for 85 years that's something incredible when you yeah. think about it but Bellgate if you will been going on almost mm -hmm. as long. Here is a look by the numbers those years you see right there yep that's all the bell thefts that have taken place you can see started in 1941 really picked up steam there in the 70s but the last bell theft that took place back in 1998 so nearly 20 years mm -hmm. ago Important to note, 2012, however, is the last attempt until last month. So it is an interesting tradition, well, but also a crime. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It does, uh, does it tend to be a crime. All right, yeah. Matt, thank you. Yeah.